Hi, welcome to the video today. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make commercial grade hand sanitizer. It's very much like the hand sanitizer you buy in stores like this. It's not the homemade version with aloe vera gel and a bunch of other uh, organic ingredients. This is made with, uh, if not exactly the same, very similar ingredients used to make commercial hand sanitizer. I used to make this uh, in a factory many, many, many years ago. So I'm very familiar with the manufacturing process. So I'm gonna walk you through it. It's really quick. You're gonna make a batch of hand sanitizer, a 24 ounce batch we're gonna to make today. It'll only take about five minutes maybe to make the whole thing. It's super, super easy. I'll show you how there's a little waiting period through phases, but I'll show you how to go through that. First of all, let me say, I've got uh, our videographer Ramel is here, so he's coming in to do really tight shots, so you guys will understand exactly what I'm doing. So forgive me if he comes into this shot and out. This is not, a again, a professionally made video. So what we're gonna do to begin is start with, uh, this is a three phase process. I'll start with the ingredients list. So here are the ingredients you're going to need. You're gonna need eight ounces of pure water. I'm using Fiji water, you don't have to do that. You can use any bottled water or purified water. If you use tap water, it will work fine, but you may find that the solution looks a little cloudy. It's still working exactly the same, doesn't matter, but I like it to be clear and know that it's pure, so I use purified water. You're gonna need 16 ounces of 99% isopropyl alcohol or uh, 16 ounces of ethyl alcohol, which would be like a pure grain alcohol from the liquor store. I use isopropyl because it actually works better as a germ killer, but it, and it's cheaper and more readily available. But if you want it to be exactly like a Purell, uh, for instance, you're gonna wanna use uh, an ethyl alcohol. I don't, I wouldn't recommend it. I would stick with isopropyl alcohol. You're gonna need one tablespoon of Carbamol 80, a Carbamol 80 right here. It's a powder, I'll show you how to use that in a second. If you don't know where to get this, I'll give you a resource at the end where you can get the supplies. You're gonna need um, uh, five drops of glycol TEA. I need to add that to my slide actually. Five drops of glycol TEA and I'll show you that when we do it. That's the clear, that's the clear liquid if you're getting one of our kits. And you need five drops of Silical 945, which is this amber chemical that you need to shake up before you use. And to put in your drops, you'll use an eyedropper or a pipette like this. If you get a kit from us, it's included uh, in the kit. But these things are available other places. You don't have to get this from us. So, um, you know, you, you can get our kits or not. It's up to, totally up to you. Okay, so those are the ingredients you're going to use. So we're going to do this in three quick phases. Phase one is called the water phase. So we're going to combine eight ounces of water. We're going to open our blender. We're going to combine eight ounces of pure water into, I use a mixing cup to measure. You do want your measurements to be pretty close to accurate. Uh, they don't have to be super, super exacting, but pretty close. This is pretty easy, right? So there's the water we're gonna need. Close our water back up and set that aside. We won't need that anymore. And now we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna add, uh, we're gonna add our uh, glycol TEA, which is the clear solution like this. You'll get two solutions if you get them from us. One is clear, one is amber. This one is clear. So we're gonna add five drops of this to the solution. And what this does is create some moisture barriers to, for you and allows the water to absorb the gelling agent. So one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna put one more in there for good measure. You can't uh, go too wrong with that. And we'll set that aside. Scientifically empty out my, all right. And now, the most important part, this is kind of the magic stuff. This is the Carpamol, right? So this is, a, this is a really light powder that absorbs a thousand times or so its weight in water. It's what makes things gel. It's the same stuff they use to make hair gel, for instance, or any other gelled product. We're gonna use one lab, level tablespoon. So if you've got a tablespoon measure, we're gonna scoop this in there. We're gonna get a tablespoon. You might come there to Ramel to the front to do that. and then. You're going to scrape off to level so you know you got the, the right amount. And we're just gonna put this right in the top of our water. And that's everything that you need for the water phase. It's gonna be pretty cool, so you definitely wanna watch this when it starts because it's pretty magical to watch it work. We're gonna have a gel here in just a few seconds. About 15 seconds.
You only need to gel the, you only need to mix this gel for about 15 seconds and you can see that's a gel now. It's not a, it's not a loose liquid anymore. Okay. We're going to, we've got our gel now. This is our water phase and we're going to set that aside. Okay. Now we're going to make our alcohol phase. We're going to take our, we're going to take a, a bigger measuring cup. Let's go to phase two. We're going to take our bigger measuring cup and we're going to add 16 ounces of alcohol. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol and I don't have to measure it because it's already a 16 ounce bottle. So basically you're ending up with a solution that's 66% alcohol, 33% water based, roughly. And then we're going to use our other chemical here, the Silical 945. So what this does, the Silical is a totally different uh, chemical. It uh, creates a silicone moisture barrier on the hands and there's a mild fragrance in here to cut some of the alcohol um, smell. So I'm going to use five drops again. One, two, three, four, five. And I got an extra one in there. It won't hurt to have an extra one in there. And I'm going to stir that with my pipette just a little just to make sure that it gets mixed in and it usually always does and it's not really that big of a deal. Okay, there's phase one, phase two. Pretty easy stuff so far, right? Now we're going to go to phase three and we're going to combine phase one and phase two. So we're going to take our gel in our blender and just scoop it out into a larger container. Now this is going to make, this batch is going to make 24 ounces, which is going to make anywhere between four, uh, between, uh, uh, excuse me, three and four bottles of hand sanitizer, depending on how you usually buy it, or it'll make about 12 of the little takeaway bottles. Okay. And we're going to pour in our alcohol solution into our water solution. And then we're going to lightly stir the two together. And they'll be a little cloudy at first. So we're going to stop the tape right now for a couple of minutes. And we're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to go to the final phase. And it only takes about 10 more seconds to make it after this settles. So we'll stop the tape here for just a second. Okay, we've been out about 15 minutes. We've let our solution settle. And as Ramel's taking a tight shot right now, you can see that the solution settles. So the polymer's more on the bottom right now. I've stirred it about every 15 minutes and it's really thickening up. So you just want it to hydrate. And all that does is really make your solution a little clearer when you're done. But if you'll see, Ramel, can you show there? It's still got like lumps in it and that's gonna be the solution absorbing the water and the alcohol. We're going to speed up that process by pouring the solution. We don't have to clean out our blender. We're just going to pour this back into the blender, the whole thing. And now this is all hand sanitizer. Everything in this blender is hand sanitizer now. It's fully functional to use as it sets. If you left it alone, it would be okay in a, in a few hours. We only need to blend it for five or 10 seconds and you can see the bubbles that are forming in there. And we'll pour this back out. And that is usable hand sanitizer as it sets right now. I made this batch yesterday afternoon and you can see the difference. This one looks a little cloudy and this one looks a lot clearer. The solution gets clearer as it sets. Has nothing to do with its effectiveness. It's good to use right now if I want to use it as a sanitizer it's good to use right now. Um, there's a couple things that are cool about this that are a little different than the most commercial uh, sanitizers. We use a water barrier in here to make sure that uh, it, it doesn't dry out your skin. It makes your skin actually quite supple and nice. It's got a light fragrance in it and it keeps you from picking up moisture uh, from surfaces. So the moisture barrier on your hands is an additional uh, protectant against picking up wet, uh, wet uh, uh, any wetness off surfaces or moisture off surfaces. So if you were to grab a handrail or something like that, it might add an extra level of protection. Um, so once again, I'm going to put the ingredients list back up so you can jot these down. If you didn't get a chance to jot 
uh, the ingredients down. Here's what's in the solution. Uh, so just jot all those down right now. Give you a couple seconds for that. You can freeze frame if you need to. Okay. And if you need the ingredients, we have kits available. They're very affordable. They come with everything that you need. We're not trying to milk anybody during this uh, time, right? We want to make sure it's very, very fair. Uh, a five gallon kit costs about $50 and makes five gallons worth. A one gallon kit's about $20. This so is very, very reasonable. And right now we've been donating the shipping because we want to make sure that people get uh, what they need in this time. The kits come with the, the chemicals you need, the pipette, uh, everything that you need to do this with the exception of the alcohol itself. By the way, a little tip on alcohol. Some people say, well, I can't find alcohol where I live. Uh, beauty supply stores typically have alcohol in gallon jugs. Um, some farm supplies have it in gallon jugs. Some paint stores have it in gallon jugs. So if you can't find alcohol uh, where you live, you may be able to find it at a paint store or beauty supply. But alcohol is coming in and out of stock pretty regularly. It seems to be coming back into stock most places while hand sanitizer is really, really hard to come by right now. So I hope you like this video. I hope it helps. Uh, please send us, uh, you know, please uh, uh, send us uh, pictures of your batches and how they turned out. But I know you're going to really enjoy making. It's a lot of fun to make. Give some to your family. Give some to your friends. And even if you want to sell some to your community, I'm all for that. Just do us a favor. And, and we're doing this as sort of a public service. Don't don't price gouge people. Don't try to, if, if, when times are bad, don't try to take advantage of people. You know, uh, if you can sell it for the normal price that everybody else gets for it normally, you're, you're being very fair. It's about four bucks a bottle. And, uh, and you can make a nice profit doing that, even if you're buying our kits to do it. So thank you very much. I hope this was really helpful to you. Down below, there's some more information uh, and the way that you can order the kits. You can go to handsanitizerformula.com if you need to come back to this video. Uh, or And we're putting the ingredients on Amazon very soon. Please, please, please share this video. Share this page with as many friends as you can. Uh, it may help them uh, in a way that, that you couldn't otherwise. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.